This is a test. I know that this classroom has some speaker problems, so I'll wait. Okay, now that the speakers are at a good volume, we shall begin. Starting with our first outfit, we have the beautiful Claire, I, I, I mean, I mean Angelica, showing off her stunning dress made of gold embroidered cloth. Clothing was so significant in England that there was a law created stating which colors rich and poor women could wear. This is called the Elizabethan Sumptuary Law. I am rich, so I wear gold. Let's take a look into what the women who weren't of high social class wore. This poor woman wears a simple yellow fabric, nothing fancy like gold or silver. She wears a long skirt and a simple robe lined with fox fur on the top of, around her neck. In England, only members of the royal family could own robes lined with ermine. Other women of lower social class could only have ones lined with fox or otter fur. To wear something like Don't touch me. Next, we have Kanisha representing a working woman. She has a wondrous white apron and basket. Her blue and red bodice signifies that she is of lower class. The Elizabethan sumptuary law also tells people tells people one's social class just by the colors that they wear. Kanisha's red and blue bodice is an indicator that she is poor. Yup, I'm poor. Come on, it's filming. Do I have to? Yes! <laughs> this is one of the queen's subjects. She is wearing a white silk dress and parts of it are made of exotic velvet and satin. The queen deemed that materials of clothing were very important to social classes. Therefore, the richest woman would wear silks and velvets. Wow, look at that green, look at that dress, and look at that... Ruff. Ruffs were worn by both sexes. They're worn by the elderly and the young. Also, both poor women and rich women wore ruffs. They began as a simple frill, but soon evolved into a piece of every outfit. Ruffs were very popular in the Elizabethan era. And for our final outfit, we have a working woman rocking a red bodice with a white and gold ruff. Wait, what's your income? Uh, dungeon! No! If one is to break the Elizabethan sumptuary law, an example of this would be wearing something only meant for the rich, then the consequences could be harsh, resulting in fines, loss of property, and even life. And even life. And even life. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>